hello I am going to test out an idea I have that I've been wanting to try and it's something along the lines of a patchwork layout so I've got some pre-mixed color and this is just really going to be a pretty quick test so I'm just going to lay down Color. Got some snot coming out here. Apologize. There we go. Okay. So I think what I am going to do is just spread this out of it. So let's see what this, maybe some purple, try and see what a little bit of this does. Alright, and then in my cup here, my white, I have got a couple drops of silicone in here. And I think and I might want to warm this up a bit. I'm just getting a little bit of coverage with these colors and seeing a little bit of what they're doing on their own volition. I can see right here I've got a little bit of a low spot. I'm going to fill that in. And then I'm going to fill in some of these little spaces. You see that what's happening the way I'm drawing this in so I'm just adding to where I want to see color okay of a an overflow as you can see so I'm just going to use that here to get some coverage pop 
some of these bubbles again. So I am finding this very interesting, the way this is kind of doing its tang. is really cool. I am loves in this. So I think what I want to do is cool as that is. I'm really curious to see if these cells will last. Again. We're creating on the fly tonight, guys. Only because I think this is coming out kind of cool. Get my other glove on. doing here is just coaxing this slightly over the edge otherwise when it dries you'll get little bare spots along your edge and I'm not particularly fond of this um, I can also use some of my spillage here just as soon as it touches it it will follow see how that pulls it right down anybody is wondering what is in my hand this is an ATD stir stick uh, ATD stands for artist till death they are some Dallas based artists uh, Jeff and Erica uh, I have had the pleasure of meeting them they are absolutely a delight and they're extremely talented uh, so I highly recommend you check them out and they are your one-stop shop for any resin supplies you might need so uh, Check them out. Now let's see. I don't have a ton of cells in here. Let's do an experiment. All right. I'm going to take this one, I'm going to put it to dry, and I'm going to use the same exact colors, and I'm going to do a swipe and see which one holds itself better. Give me one second. I'm going to set up my next board. <sighs> la la! Alright, so this, I think,
this is going to be a swipe. So I'm going to let that sit there a bit. I love playing with paints. It's fun to just get out here and see what it wants to do, what direction it wants to take. And I'm just making sure I'm reaching all my sides before I get anything too drastic going on here. how I'm liking it, I think I still am going to do the swipe. Um, that's left over from last night. So pretty. Tear it off. And let's see what happens. I think I'm going to drag white for this piece. Messy, messy artist. Did I mention that?
just for a little depth. I'm loving these colors together. Now, I want to do a little bit of drawing. it a little heat. Now, if any of you have been watching me, you know my least favorite part of this is when it comes to tipping. I don't like tipping. kind of freaks me out. Okay, guys, we'll see uh, what happens tomorrow when uh, these are dry. I hope you're excited as I am to see the results. Please remember to hit the bell so you know when future posts are coming. Like and subscribe. Uh, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, what you want to see. Uh, you know... Is there something or a topic that you'd like to learn more about? I will do my best to either research it and get you an answer, or hopefully I'll be able to just answer you off the top of my head. But either way, reach out. Love to hear from you. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great night from Desco Artistry.